Hey, so I wanted to take a quick break out of the series just to answer two of perhaps the most common questions I get from beginners. First one is, my fingers hurt, I can't stretch because my fingers are hurting, and secondly, I can't change chords quick enough. Okay, so I'm gonna give an overview to answer both of those questions. Learning guitar is an unnatural thing to do for your fingers. There's muscles in your hands that you have never used before and they need to be trained and they need to almost go to the gym to build up. And that is something that is not going to happen quickly. There are a couple of ways of making it a bit faster, which I'll share very, very soon, uh, but it's going to take time for them to develop, for them to strengthen. Okay. Now, in terms of the chords, I've left a link right now in the video and um, at the video description to my 60 second chord change video. You'll find this very useful to keep you motivated with your chord changes. I won't go into detail, but it's really, really useful. And I really suggest you check it out and put it into your practice routine when you start. Okay, so the chords, you're gonna be making them over and over and your fingers are gonna feel under strain. And in some cases, you're gonna to need to be picking up the fingers and placing them on and it is going to hurt the fingertips. Now with this, it's okay to have lines on your fingers, okay, but any blisters or any bleeding of the fingers, that's going to make it really hard for you to practice the next day. So please don't do that. Little and often with your playing. Okay, getting lines, that's cool, but any more than that, and it's really going to make it too painful for you to play the next time, okay? Final bit of advice I'm going to say for stretching, and sometimes people say to me, Drew, my fingers are too fat, they don't fit in, my fingers are too small, my fingers can't stretch. These are all questions that always come up as a beginner. And the best advice I can tell you is that, okay, sometimes when you've bought a guitar or someone, a friend's lent you a guitar, that may not be the right guitar for you, and you may not be able to get your fingers, especially if they're big fingers inside the fretboard. But 85 to 90% of cases, it is just a case of learning how to stretch those fingers. So I've left another link in the video now, and there's another link below to my warm up finger gym exercise, which is terrific at learning how to stretch those fingers and give them independence. If you do this for three to four minutes in every practice, you will notice a difference over time of how your fingers can stretch, consequently making things like the chords easier to play. Okay, I'm going to finish with this great comment that I heard in the bottom of a YouTube video. It was, the flesh and muscle may be weak, but the spirit and willing is determined. And I really, really like this expression because in the beginning, that's exactly what it will feel like. Your hands will feel in pain and it will hurt and not feel very natural. But as long as your determination and your motivations for learning guitar are, are true because of how much you enjoy music and you enjoy playing guitar, then it will, over time, start to ease up.